Everything you know about geography is a lie. And here's why. Now everybody knows that there are seven continents, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. Additionally, there are four major oceans, Atlantic, Pacific, Arctic, and Indian. Except there's five. On June 8th, 2021, on World Oceans Day, National Geographic officially recognized the Southern Ocean as the fifth major ocean of the world. This ocean lies south of the 60th parallel, right above Antarctica. Speaking of Antarctica, there's a common myth that the continent has zero time zones, but in reality, it has nine. I mean, but that makes sense, right? Because Antarctica basically covers the entire southern portion of Earth. Well, no. Antarctica is actually the fifth largest continent by size, and when you overlay it into Africa, it reveals how small Antarctica actually is. Antarctica is a victim of the Mercator projection, and so it is stretched so crazily wide, when in reality, it is about half the size of Africa. Which is not a country, by the way, it's a continent. In fact, it's the continent that has the most countries, with 54. But for a continent so large, it actually has the smallest coastline. One thing we can say for certain, though, is that the longest river in the world, the Nile, is in Africa. Except it's not, and that title actually belongs to the Amazon River in South America. The distance from Los Angeles to New York is 2,500 miles long, about the same distance that it is to go from Lisbon to Moscow. But you want to know what's about as long as both of those combined? The coast of Chile which means you can more quickly travel from LA to New York or Lisbon to Moscow by car than you can go up the coast of Chile. Speaking of Chile, the Atacama Desert in Chile is actually the driest place on Earth, beating out the Sahara and even Death Valley. While we're talking about deserts, the largest desert in the world is actually 5.5 million square miles. It's called Antarctica. It wouldn't be crazy to say that Brazil is closer to Chile than France, right? Right? Turns out that's not true because the French Guiana actually borders Brazil directly, which interestingly makes France one of Brazil's bordering countries. But who cares about South America? Let's go to North America. There are a few irrefutable facts about the United States of America. There are 50 states, there were 13 original colonies, the Mississippi River is the longest river in the United States. Well, it's actually not. The Missouri River is about 150 miles longer than the Mississippi River. But who cares about the South and the Midwest? Let's go to the Northeast. When you think of New York, you think of the Empire State Building, the Freedom Tower, Central Park. But make sure you don't think of the Statue of Liberty, because it's not actually fully owned by New York. Liberty Island actually falls within the waters of New Jersey, and so New York and New Jersey agreed a long time ago to just jointly own the monument. While we're in the New York area, we should visit Niagara Falls, which is the tallest waterfall in the world. Well, no, that actually belongs to Angel Falls in Venezuela. Well, at least the US has the largest canyon in the world, because we have the Grand Canyon, of course. It's not like the Yarlung Zangbo Grand Canyon in Tibet is bigger than the Grand Canyon, right? But the United States does actually have claim to the tallest mountain on Earth. That belongs to Mauna Kea which is actually 3,000 feet taller than Mount Everest, and it doesn't get the recognition it deserves because it's underwater. And this has nothing to do with geography, but Olympic Mons on Mars is actually 72,000 feet high, or about three times larger than Mount Everest, making it the largest observable mountain in the solar system. But I'll have to update this video once we officially colonize Mars. Another thing the United States has is the longest land border in the world, sharing that with our neighbors in Canada. And just north of Canada is Greenland, which, by the way, is not bigger than Africa, and is also not that green. In fact, it is extremely icy, and about 80% of the country is covered in ice. But it's also not a country, because it doesn't have sovereignty, because it's owned by Denmark. But while we're talking about Europe, let's head over there. England isn't a country. Neither is Great Britain. The United Kingdom is a country. The difference? England is England, Great Britain is England, Scotland, and Wales, and the United Kingdom is England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Got it? And while we're in Europe, the tallest mountain is not Mont Blanc. It's actually beat out by Mount Elbrus in the Caucasus region of Russia by about 50 meters. And speaking of Russia, a lot of people think Russia and Turkey are the only two countries that cross continents. But actually, Azerbaijan, Armenia, and Georgia all do as well. Let's move to Asia, where the largest city in the world, both population-wise and area-wise, lies. 
And I'm not talking about Shanghai, Beijing, or New Delhi. I'm talking about Tokyo. Tokyo is so large that it has more people than Canada does. The total area of the Tokyo-Yokohama metropolitan area is so large that it is bigger than 30 countries. China has the most people on Earth with 1.4 billion, and India is second with 1.3 billion. But by 2030, the spots are going to switch, and India will then be the most populous country on Earth. There aren't that many geographical misconceptions of Asia, so let's move down to Australia. Now, when I say Australia, you probably think of the country slash continent of which Sydney is its capital, which it's not. But you definitely don't think of 14 countries, because that would be weird. Like, come on, Australia is not 14 countries? Well, it is. That's why I'm a big proponent of reclassifying the continent Australia to be aptly named Oceania, because it encompasses the region a lot better than Australia does. But yeah, the Australia region is actually 14 countries, including New Zealand, Samoa, Fiji, Tuvalu, etc. Oh yeah, and this line is not the equator. That's the Tropic of Cancer. The equator is a bit lower right there. I'm not sure why maps don't make that more apparent. As you guys can see, there are a ton of geographical misconceptions out there, so be careful. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and turn on the notification bells. All right, and that's it for me, guys.